All right, guys, we're in for a real, real treat. Mike is showing me his brand new, well, not brand new. He's had this for a minute. I've shot it once before, but this is the uh, Apache Limited Edition, one of 500. And this was their initial gun release, right? That's correct. Initial gun release. Let's take it out. Woo! And this gun looks pretty badass. And this is by Watchtower Firearms. Make sure it's not loaded. Located here in Houston, Texas. Located here in Houston, Texas. It is. It's a native Texas company. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the finish on it, but the gun looks absolutely incredible. There are... Did you see this, Mike? This run? On this oh, side? yeah. So there's kind of like a streak on this one side. I mean, this side is, is perfect, but there's kind of like a streak in the finish. I don't know if it, it picks up on camera, but... Is that supposed to be like that? Absolutely not. And uh, so that's the one thing about Did you try, Watchtower. Did you try you know, to wipe it? Look, I'm sorry? Did you try to wipe this off? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, of course, when you order a gun like this, you know, it's a custom order, and you just got to wait until it arrives. So when I got the gun, came in after a couple of delays, production delays, I get it. Uh, but I definitely, the day I picked it up in the FFL, I noticed these streaks on the side. And I presumed that it was just oil. And uh, so I got it home, got the gun out, excited, started trying to wipe it down, and I noticed it, it was not coming off the slide. And uh, so then they, they offered an opportunity because, uh, to swap out the grips for the, uh, for the limited edition uh, Apache owners. So, but the gun was in their possession. I sent the video along with my complaint and basically they said that it's just that's just what it is uh, so i'm very disappointed in regards to the customer support i mean like uh i don't know if it's going to pick up on i know the camera. It's, it's hard to see but there's a couple of swipes here and they have the video they see it you know it's hard to see in the light here but it's definitely there if you're here looking at it you can see it well this gun again you can't see it but it's no it's serialized here so this is number uh 214 out of 1000 and I'd love to talk to the owners of 215 and 216 and see if they had a similar problem. But, right, right. You know, so, they, like but, I said, if this gun was like only a thousand dollars, no harm, no foul. I mean, it's thousand dollar gun. It's going to get beat around and messed up. What was the MSRP on this gun? Still, no, no it was forty five. Oh man, I don't. I don't I'll, know. I'll put the price down below, yeah, but yeah. I thought it was more like yeah. No, 45. I think it's in the four. Yeah, four. What am I saying? I think it was like 42, around forty five hundred. Forty two, forty five hundred. Yeah. And. uh Besides the cosmetic flaw, how does the gun shoot? Uh, well, it's had a couple of small hiccups. I think the spring rate needs to be changed, uh, going back into battery. A couple of small issues, but again, you know, I wanted to take the gun to them. Hey, let's talk about it. Nope. nope. All right, we got we got a couple. We got about ten mags loaded up. We're gonna see if we can get this to to shoot. I mean, the the first couple times I shot it, I had one failure to go into battery, but other than that, the gun shot fantastic. And it was super accurate. So the accuracy on this gun is fantastic. It shoots really well, besides the one flaw. But if you're spending over $3,000 on a gun, it needs to run like a sewing machine. I mean, shit, if you spend over $500 on a gun, it should any gun you buy should work 100% of the time. Uh, and this gun is absolutely broken in. It has well over 1,000 rounds through it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so let's see what happens. We're gonna turn the camera around and shoot the Watchtower Apache. I don't know, man. If it wasn't for that streak, it is a beautiful gun. I love it. I love the color. All right, we have a special guest. Garrett is in the house. He's going to shoot the Watchtower. Please make sure you're in frame. Everyone always forgets. And we're going to move it in uh, probably nine yards. That'll work. All right. This mag is yours, sir. Please mm -hmm. don't hand me. Don't hand. If I hand you a magazine, it better be empty when I get it back. <laughs> All right, first time shooting the Watchtower. I've never shot this before. I have no idea how it's going to respond, but let's find out. Oh my God, it has zero recoil. Okay. Yeah, once you get the hang of this, it becomes super accurate and first time shooting i was a little bit off i was 
I don't know why I was anticipating something, but I anticipated absolutely nothing. This thing shoots like super flat. What an amazing gun. Yeah, I like it. Thank you for letting me shoot that. That's awesome, man. Wow. There's some, uh, let's see. I don't know. There's some. Yeah, yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. Let's load up some more mags. Oh, wait. You know, they're located here in Houston. Oh, it takes the Springfield Prodigy mags. There you go. I wanted to bring it back to this. Oh, there you go. That was the, the very last one. And I, I don't want to hear anything about, oh, it's the magazine. All right, one more mag. Language, it's kid's show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll bleep out all that foul language. Oh man. You gotta forgive us ex Navy guys for swearing. <laughs> the gun so far is shooting incredible. And like I said, it is a, a beautiful gun. This new That's grip that the uh, mic uh, changed out to is phenomenal. The way it feels. I mean, when you pair it up with the SRO on top, I mean, it's just these streaks. You know, now that Mike pointed it out, these streaks are kind of bothering me. If I were to spend that kind of money, what you see then, you can't unsee it. See, they're right, right here, and then there's other streaks that go along. And when I first saw it, I thought it was just oil mark. It's in the yeah. That's a shame. I mean, for a gun of this, yeah. this yeah. price, it better be flawless. Right? And, but now look, the gun, the gun is it's fantastic, but here's the problem when you have a flaw on your gun. Nobody talks about how great guns are, but if there's a mistake, people are going to talk about it. I mean, that's going to be something that's going to get around to everybody about, you know, the gun might shoot fantastic. It does shoot great. Uh, but man, your finish should be top notch for that price point. Are you going to shoot top left? Yes, let's see. Sure. Let's see what a professional can do. No. Yeah, me too. I'll forget How you doing? Good. So I wish you were coming because I want to Butter, butter. Okay. Yeah, that is smooth. So, the finish aside, what is your opinion of this gun that you paid? I'm mean, at forty five hundred dollars for. Oh well, I love this gun, warts and all. It's a special gun to me, you know. Uh, I bought it uh, just on faith, you know. The images were absolutely beautiful, and uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just a little disappointed being a local manufacturer you want to support the, support the local team uh i'm glad i have it but you know i just the customer support is lacking that's 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 my personal feeling from this but the gun the gun functions you know, it's just it's broken in now I'm not having any issues and uh yeah it's a beautiful one-off gun man so the gun though is just phenomenal it is awesome Yes, sir. Get it in the light. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a, a look at these uh, groups. Now, again, we Mike was shooting top left at the end. I was shooting top right. Darren was shooting in the middle. And, you know, not not terrible, not bad. Pretty solid groups. Yeah, those shots are where it's down the way. Real quick, let's go through all the features of the gun, and then um, we'll just wrap this video up. All right. Now, if you take a look, what is this color called? This is like a bronze. Yeah, it's a bronze, God. yeah. This bronze is amazing. So you have a skeletonized trigger, skeletonized hammer. You have ambi safety on both sides, very tactile. Um, the serrations in the front really steal the show. I mean, these are outstanding serrations. They're so easy to grip. Uh, and of course, you got this huge chunk port. <laughs> Look at this chunk port on the end. How ridiculous is that? Tritium front sight. Does it co-witness? Yeah, it does co-witness. Uh, the sights co-witness with the red dot. And uh, yeah, this grip. Now, what were you saying about this grip? Well, I believe the original grip that came with it was a 3D printed. Uh, people were complaining about it. I didn't have any problems with it, but they offered this new style grip. 
uh, for, Feels the, good. for the limited edition guns. And so, of course, I, I took advantage of that, jumped on it, yep. yeah, sent, it, it sent it into them. They sent a box and return label, the whole bit. So just put it in a box, sent it to them, and it got it back. Nice. And, of course, you got a full rail on the bottom, yeah. square trigger guard. I love square trigger. I wish the trigger guard was a little bit bigger. Uh, but other than that, flared magwell. Uh, other than that, this is a phenomenal gun. I don't know. The streaks, now that you pointed it out, these streaks are bothering me. But besides that, the gun is shot. Oh, my God. Flawless. That is smooth. Yeah. It's definitely broken in now. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. I have I have no complaints in terms of functionality of the gun now. Wow. It was just a break-in period, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful. That is smooth. Do you use a special oil on this? I'm sorry? Do you use a special oil on this? Uh, there is a lighter oil that it, they recommend, but I just tend to use the hops oil. <laughs> All right, guys, and that is our review of the Watchtower Apache. Very cool gun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Till next time.